Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show the best video settings for CS2 so you can get more FPS and you can see enemies more easily. So let's get into it. First, uh, you want to go to the video tab and you want to make sure you have the refresh rate on the maximum possible. By default, for me it was set to 60Hz and I didn't notice it at first because I just went over this really quickly and just changed my resolution and didn't pay attention to the refresh rate. Make sure it's set to the max possible because otherwise your game will feel bad and you will not know why but it was just your refresh rate being set to 60 for some reason. Uh, the other important things are obviously the aspect ratio and the resolution if you want to press play on stretch resolution change the aspect ratio, change the resolution and have display mode on full screen so you have less delay and you can actually change the resolution because if you have it on anything else you can't really change the resolution much brightness, I have it on 110 in CSGO I used to have it on the max but CS2 is much brighter so I have it lower if I have it higher it's just going to be way too bright. CS2 is bright anyway, so you don't need to increase this. And colors on computer monitor, of course. There's nothing to change. There's not anything to change there. And this is just personal preference. I just like Anubis more than the others. Advanced video. This is where the interesting part comes. Both player contents is enabled, of course. This is disabled. And this is custom because when you change anything here, it goes to custom. This you don't want because it has delay and you capture FPS. And here it might get a bit controversial. In my opinion, just have everything on the lowest possible except this. The reason is, anti-aliasing, yeah it makes the corners look better, but it just costs so much FPS. It makes your FPS so much works when you have it on pretty much any setting. On any of these, it just lowers your FPS a lot. I had it on in CSGO, but in the optimization in this game, the performance is just not as good as CSGO, so you ha I have it completely turned off, so I can get more FPS. Shadow quality. Even in CSGO, I didn't see a reason why I would put this high. Maybe you see the shadows from further, but the shadows from Fender won't really help you that much and you can see them far enough anyway on low or on medium. You can have it on medium, you can have it on whatever. Low for me is perfect because you get more FPS and you still sh see the shadows as much as you need to. Modern texturing detail. This doesn't really make it much better. This doesn't have a lot of impact on how the game looks. It has an impact on your on how your skins look, but is it worth it for the FPS? In my opinion, absolutely not. Shading detail, I also used to have on high in CSGO, because it made it easier to look through motors, but now you can look through motors very easily anyway, you don't need to have it on high. In CSGO, when you had it on high, uh, there was less smoke above the motor, but now there isn't smoke above the motor that prevents you from looking through. So you can have it on low and one thing will make a difference except it will give you more FPS. Particle detail. I don't care about this at all. I don't care about the particles. They can be black pixels as they are sometimes. I don't really care at all. Let them be black pixels. I want this FPS. Ambient occlusion. I have it disabled. Again for the same reason. I don't care about the game looking realistic. I care about having FPS and having better performance in game. If I have it realistic, yeah, it will look good, but I'll have less FPS and I'll get less skills and less impact and I'll lose the game, so I don't care about the game looking realistic, I care about performing well in game. High dynamic range, performance, pretty much the same reasons. I want more FPS, this will decrease your FPS, it's simple. This is the only setting that you have on the highest possible and the reason is that you have more FPS if you have it on something lower but the game just looks too bad. 
it looks very pixelated, it looks very bad. If you have it on disabled, which is the highest quality, it just makes the game look not as pixelated, otherwise it's just too bad. Nvidia reflects low latency. I have heard that uh, having this off is better. Even though it says that it reduces the system latency and makes it makes the game more responsive, I've heard the opposite opinions. That it makes it worse. And I don't know if it's true, but I have it disabled and I did it I didn't really see too much of a difference. So you can have it on off and you can try it. You can have it enabled, you can have it enabled plus boost to see if you actually get more FPS. And I recommend trying with it, I recommend experimenting with any settings, but I'm just giving you my opinion, and in my opinion, if you have the settings like this, you will get the most possible FPS, and the game will not look bad, and you will not struggle to see enemies. You see enemies very well, the game will look good anyway, it looks better than CSGO, and you have le less FPS, but if you do the settings like this, it still looks much better than CSGO, and you get less FPS, but you get the most possible FPS you can get in the game. So you can try to experiment, you can try to change the settings, but I'm telling you this is going to be the most optimal, because you don't need the game to look too good, but you need the FPS right now, because the optimization is not amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new about the settings, if it's helped you uh, get more FPS, you can leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any coming content. And also keep in mind that I will be uploading a lot of helpful CS2 guides in future. Thank you for watching.